To anti-feminist women you will not be the exception. Trigger warning for discussion of misogyny and sexual trauma. I was raised in a very conservative household. As in when I was in high school I genuinely believed women shouldn't be able to vote. I was raised in purity culture messaging and with misogynistic thinking about sex and relationships. What men wanted, expected. How I needed to be pure and compliant. That sex was a need for men. And I was a kiss less virgin, except that I had been sexually abused. And from that sexual abuse I had have major trauma and hang-ups regarding sex. But I thought that if I did the right thing stayed pure as I could, married a good Christian man, and was submissive that I would be seen as one of the good ones. That my husband and the community I was raised in would cut me some slack. That there would be some grace and gentleness waiting for me. There wasn't. There isn't. I was told that the reason I was still struggling was that I hadn't forgiven my abuser I have, and that the trauma would go away if I did it didn't. I was told that I was being cruel for even suggesting that my potential husband have some sexual self-control for my sake within our marriage. I was admonished and called weak for being afraid of pregnancy and labor, even after medical and sexual trauma. I have been told 1,000 times that I have to get over my trauma. It's been too long to be feeling this way. Edit to add not to mention my own father treating me with extreme skepticism when I told him about the abuse. Funny how someone who prattles on about false allegations wouldn't believe a victim. That's when it clicked they are not going to make an exception for you. You are who they are talking about. They will not accommodate you, help you, or show you pity. Please, anti-feminist women, save yourself the pain of finding out at your lowest point. Wizen up while you have the chance. They think that if they can be good enough, men wouldn't treat them badly. They think if they are virgins, their husbands wouldn't abuse them or cheat. They think they can dress well enough to avoid being raped. I pity them. It reminds me of the non-white conservative men who join the Proud Boys or other far-right groups in the, dude, you're useful to them now for, uh, they are not your friends. I have a friend who always says I'm not with that feminism shit. I want to be spoiled by my man. I'm not a career woman. I always have the urge to tell her to drop out of school. I am so sorry you went through that. You deal with the trauma for as long as it takes for you to be able to deal with it. I do hope you are getting some professional help. Sending virtual hugs and love. I really hope you're in a better place now. And, WTF about the voting thing? Jesus Christ. Of course not, but to paraphrase Lyndon Johnson, if you tell a white woman she is better than the best black Latino Asian LGBTQ liberal she won't notice you taking her rights, heck, she'll give her rights away for you. There are a lot of white women who would rather be securely in second place on the totem pole rather than be equal with everybody. I think about this when I see anti-feminist grifters who are women on YouTube shorts or whatever. Like, you can hit all the conservative talking points and use all the misogynistic buzzwords you want, but those men will still always prefer it if you just shut the fuck up and make dinner. They don't love you. They only find use for you. You're no different to a farm animal in the eyes of conservatives. All these conservative pick-me women are going to find out sooner or later that the attention isn't worth it. Every time I see a video about a guy explaining how women should be docile and submissive I see at least a few women agreeing. It's hilarious because their comments are always guys either attacking them or hitting on them and they can't understand why. I'm very sorry you experienced that. Sounds a lot like how the Mormon church and Mormon culture operate. You're absolutely right though, there's no such thing as one of the good ones, when it comes down to the details. It's worse than that. Not only are you not an exception, they're furious with women they can't control, so they take it out on the women they can. The more obedient you are, the more of a target you become. Which is the exact opposite of what they teach. This is not a mistake it's intentional. I tried explaining this to hijabi women that were defending Tate for his newfound faith. I showed them every clip of what he does to women. 
they told me it was fine since he's a man. I told them that if they genuinely think like that why not go to Iran and live that strict life they seem to admire. They quickly started talking about how unfair and abusive the conditions of women are there. They flipped the whole convo to make me seem like the worst. Twas fun. I was raised in a very conservative household. As in when I was in high school I genuinely believed women shouldn't be able to vote. X200B. This, I was told by my mom and grandmother that boys will be boys and it means he likes you when making cat calls or essay jokes. Thanks OP, this a major problem. I've had just as much women tell me bad things about other women as much as guys. The insidious allure of domestic feminism and the rigidity of tradition female gender roles has deceived many of its proponents that they possess a dispensation. It's what Serena Joy encapsulates in The Handmaid's Tale, she perceives herself as estranged from the debased femininity and misogynistic oppression is something she's exempted from. For all her complicity in perpetuating Gilead, she is still denounced as inferior for just being a woman. You can be an exemplary subservient woman who exudes Christian piety and demure decorum and they'll still abhor you. I am reading right-wing women by Dworkin and shit if she doesn't hit the head on the nail. Living through all of that must have been rough, hopefully you're doing better now. It's the same thing as that saying where the dad colludes with the daughter to make fun of the mom, and it ends with this will not save the daughter. It's so fucked up by design. I am neck deep in that world right now going to a Christian university, because it's the only one my parents will help with I can't wait to graduate, and get out my male classmates are so full of hate towards women and Lgokia, they don't want to see it no matter how hard I try I cannot be surrounded by these people my whole life. OP, I am so sorry. You might find some comfort in the great sex rescue and she deserves better. Books by Sheila Gregoire et al. addressing the harms perpetuated by evangelical teachings about sex gender over the past decades. Sometimes reading someone quantifying the harm perpetuated against you and approximately half of society can be healing, at least in the experience of others entering into your incandescent rage. Broken heart. Can you get out of the environment you're in? It sounds completely toxic. It's the pathology of the pick-me girl. Your story reminds me so much of the women on the Fundi Snark subreddit. So many Christian women are just like you were, and it's sad. I'm glad that you were able to escape, and I'm sorry you went through what you did. Hugs. Thank you for sharing this. The Christian right is basically a male supremacist cult where men can do whatever they please. I hope you have found some healing and peace. They won't listen unless you're a white male religious political figure. Good luck convincing them though a Sisyphean effort at the least. OP, I'm so sorry this happened to you. Please check out they are for folks like you experiencing trauma from sexual abuse. The patriarchy has done an excellent job of teaching men and women how to behave properly, or else. Or else is for the women, of course. Fuck that shit, you are your own person. You are allowed to do whatever you want as long as it doesn't hurt anyone. And I don't mean their feelings by your existence. Make more than they do, run businesses, excel at sports, etc. Men have been in control for so long it feels like the default it's not, 51.1 is a majority, take what you want, what you need, what you deserve, what you're owed. Take back yourself. Not only will they not be the exceptions, they are the lambs being sent to slaughter. They won't listen. They will wait until it is too late, remembering this Reddit thread they read a few years ago that they never fully forgot. It's the saddest thing about it all. Knowing most of us learned from experience. I feel this so much. Your experience is a close reflection of my own history. It has affected my whole life. I so sorry.